in my life, you know, you know, that serve as somewhat of a mentor to just give me information, to always be a shoulder to lean on or a ear that I can, you know, holler at whenever I need them. 卡隆巴特勒，两千零四年，作为奥尼尔交易的一部分，来到湖人。他与科比一同经历了球队的低潮期，他也见证了科比在奥尼尔离开后的蜕变。尽管两人仅共事一年，巴特勒却成为了科比最交心的朋友。Hi Carl, this is Hansen Sports, and I was really curious about a question. You stay in Lakers for one year, and you and Kobe Bryant became、uh, close friends. How do you develop this kind of friendship? I think I think the reason why me and Kobe are such you know great friends and that we stay connected is because you know、um, you recognize a real person and you recognize that you know something is authentic and real just from the start and. You don't need that much time to realize that, and what I realized from him is that I understood him. I understood what he was trying to accomplish. I saw the big picture. I saw the marathon of his goals, and he was going out there to be the best night in and night out.、Uh, he was out there literally chasing goats. You know those seeds that he planted in me in my career. I took those with me for the duration of my career, and that's why I was successful. And does Kobe have some special habits in his life?、Uh, I think his 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 greatest habit is you know being consistent in greatness. Periodically throughout the course of a season, whether it's tapping to young superstars or young guys that's on the verge of becoming becoming a、uh, particularly special, you know he knows he mastered the art of timing, and he know when to insert himself to、uh, you know propel a guy. To you know, do great things, and you know that's something that you can、uh, respect and always love from a guy like Kobe Bryant. And this year, Laker will retire both of his jersey、uh, numbers, number、Special. eight and number twenty-four, which was the first time in NBA history. <laughs>、uh, so, Kobe in number eight was your teammate, and Kobe in twenty-four was your opponent. So, what's the most different part between these two abilities? I say, I say, the only difference is you know one had three titles and the other one had two. <laughs> that was the only difference, but you saw the same thing. I mean, you saw him coming out there, you know, being、uh, extremely versatile, being extremely crafty.、Um, he was another guy, you know. That's why they compare him so much to Michael Jordan, and you know, you know one of the greatest ever to do it.、And、I'm just happy that he's my friend. Which one do you want to play for? As Kobe's teammate or Kobe's opponent?、Uh, as as Kobe's teammate, you know, just. From an athletic standpoint, you saw more exciting athletic plays at when he was wearing number eight. But what I appreciate, you know, in the game is when you know when you get older and going through the injuries and things like that that you see him go through. When he put on that 24, and that was the the, the second half of you know、um, him not being with Shaq, leading you know Paul Gasol, Lamar Odom, Derek Fisher. All those guys to you know multiple championships. That was extremely impressive, and he did it from a skill set point because you know he he had the he had the athleticism for so long and still was able to capable of dunking, getting in the paint, facilitate, doing all these things. But to do it from a skill set, one of the best skill players, if not the best skill player ever to play the game of basketball, Kobe Bryant. And I feel like in the number twenty four, his skill set is highlighted even more. And Kobe as a professional basketball player. And Kobe as the、uh, as the human life in his common life. What is there any some difference between this? That you know what I you know you see him with his with his like his mentality is you know extremely dominant on the court. You know he wants to win every game. He's super competitive, but you know he got a softer side because he's a father of girls. So you can see him you know being with his daughter Natalia and. You know, being at events at Disney and you know coaching their basketball team, and it's just amazing to see so many levels and layers of Kobe, which we never saw before because he was chasing goats. You know, he was chasing Michael Jordan because you know I was you know in the locker room with him. You know, had these intimate conversations where we're talking about things other than basketball. Well, no, you you still play game when Kobe's last game. You still play game in Sacramento Kings. So, what about this time? Will you go to his jersey retirement ceremony? Yeah, I, I'll I'll definitely be at the jersey retirement ceremony. 
uh, I'll be there. I'll be there uh, just, you know, in awe of the moment. I, I, I support Kobe for the rest of my life. He's not only one of my best teammates I ever had in my career, but uh, he's my big brother. He's a guy that, you know, I call my friend long after the game of basketball. And, um, you know, I'm grateful to have, you know, legends as, you know, as a basketball player, but even a legendary person in my life, you know, you know, that serve as somewhat of a mentor to just give me information, to always be a shoulder to lean on or an ear that I can, you know, holler at whenever I need them. And now you're both already retired from the professional basketball. So in your common life, uh, do you still communicate frequently? All the time. I'm texting Kobe, sending emails and, you know, throwing things by him all the time. You know, I, I think I, I think I communicate with Kobe more now than I ever have. And, you know, that's the beauty about, you know, just, you know, being retired and moving on and now you go into the next phase of your life to have people, real people like Kobe Bryant that you can connect to and talk to. Uh, so as Kobe's intimate friend, what do you want to say to him? Does it like send some bad wish or something like that? Uh, what I would say is, you know, Ocho, Mamba, Big Brother, you know, I'm happy for you. I love you. And, um, you know, this is a special moment and nobody deserves it more than you. You know, retirement of two jerseys, I think it's just simply amazing. You know, what you've done for the game of basketball, your legacy, you know, your DNA is all over this game. They can't tell the story of basketball without mentioning you. The greatest player of our generation, my big brother, Kobe Bryant.